In Creole Parametric, you can use mechanism snapshots to control the display of those mechanisms in drawing views. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here I have an old assembly that I updated to use mechanism connections. If I go to Applications and then Mechanism, you can see the different glyphs in the graphics area for my mechanism connections. Let's grab the main joint axis for the crankshaft. If I use the mini toolbar, I can create a servo motor. I will go to the profile tab and I'm going to define the angular velocity. Let's do 360 degrees per second, one rotation per second. I will hit the check mark. Now that we have a motor, I can create a new analysis. I'm going to change the type from position to kinematic to use the true kinematic solver. We'll run it for 10 seconds. I'm starting from the current position. Later on, I'll show you how you can change this to a snapshot. I'm going to have that motor run during the entire time. When I click the run button, here you see how it works. I can click the OK button and then go to my playbacks. If I left click on the playback in the mechanism tree, I can go to the animate dialog box. Let's crank up the speed a little bit and then hit the play button. I'll crank it down a little bit. So there you can see how it is moving in here. Let's close out of here and then close out of mechanism mode. I'm not going to save this. Just wanted to show you how this was indeed capable of moving. And right now you can see that the piston over on the left is near the top and the other one is cranked down on the bottom. Let's go over to a drawing that I created for this mechanism. And you can see that I have two different drawing views on here. They're both set up exactly the same way. And the one on the left is cranked up near the top and the one on the right is near the bottom. Let's go back to the mechanism. I'm going to use the drag functionality to change the position. Let me click on here and drag it. And so let's position so that they're both sort of in the middle. And I'll close the drag dialog box. Now when I hop over to the drawing, you'll see that the drawing views are updated to reflect the new positions. Typically, you do not want the drawing views to change based on what anyone does to the mechanism. The way that you can take care of that is with a mechanism snapshot. Let's go back to the assembly. The first thing that I am going to do though before I create some different snapshots is set up some joint axis settings. And so the main thing that drives this in here is the crankshaft. I'm going to edit definition of that component's placement. You can see from the dashboard and the placement tab that we have a pin connection. I'm going to turn on my datum plane visibility for a moment. And if I go to the rotation axis over here, you can set up the zero references between the component and the assembly. And so I'm going to select this assembly datum plane as one of the references. And then here is another datum plane from the crankshaft part. Right now, the angle between them is 84 and some change. I can double click on the number and change that to zero. So now it's essentially lined up vertically in here. And right now, again, that's the current position. If you want to, you can enable a regeneration value, which means that whenever you hit the regenerate button or control G, it will go back to this particular position. But the only reason I'm really setting this in here is so that I have additional control over the angle. And you can also set up minimum and maximum limits, but this needs to rotate through 360 degrees, so I don't wanna do any of that. I'm just setting this up so that I have a dimension that I change. Let me hit the check mark. By the way, one thing to mention is that if you do set up regeneration values, you can go to your model properties, File, Prepare, Model Properties. Again, that is a command that I use so often that I have it in my Quick Access Toolbar. If you go to the Model Properties dialog box and scroll down over here, underneath where we have the assembly group, here is Mechanism, you can click on the Change button. And for the Mechanism settings, you can turn off the option that uses the regeneration value if you don't want it to be in there. 
Let me cancel out of there and then close my model properties dialog box. All right, let's go back to, I want to make sure it's at zero degrees. I think it actually rotated a little bit. Let's go to edit definition of the crankshaft. Go to placement, go to rotation over here. Yeah, let's change this to zero and then hit the check mark. And so there I have maybe the first position that I want to use. Let's turn off the datum plane visibility. If I go to the drag components command over here, you can expand snapshots. I'm going to use the camera to take a snapshot of the components in the current configuration. And I can rename this and I can call this the start position. If you click on this button over here, this will make that snapshot available in drawings. And I'll click on that. You'll notice that there's a little drawing symbol next to it. That's good. Let's close out of here. I'm going to use the edit definition command over here. Just get to the placement and then rotation axis. Maybe I want to specify that I want this at 90 degrees and then I will hit the check mark. And so there it repositions the components as such. If I want to create a snapshot here, then once again, I'll go to drag components, hit the camera, and I will call this quarter, maybe for quarter rotation. And once again, using this button will make the snapshot available in drawings. That's good, let's close out of here. Before I apply that to the drawing views, I just want to show you that in mechanism mode, now that I do have some snapshots in here, applications mechanism, when I expand analyses in here, I can click on the analysis definition that I previously created and then edit definition. And instead of using the current configuration, I could choose one of my two snapshots as the starting position. And that way, I can use that as the starting position for the run. That's good. Let's click the OK button out of here, close out of here. No, I am not going to save my analysis definition. Let's hop over to the drawing. And again, right now they're reflecting the current position. If I wanted to use one of the snapshots, I will select the drawing view and then edit definition from the mini toolbar. Then if we go into view states, I can choose to explode the components in the view. If I go to the drop down list, this is where you can access the mechanism snapshots. The mechanism snapshots are stored as an explode state in the assembly. So I'll choose quarter over here and hit the apply button. You'll see how the components change. Right now they're in the other view, they are pretty much in the start position, but I'm just going to apply that snapshot to make sure that this view doesn't change whenever I am making changes to the assembly. So again, now we have the two snapshots applied to these drawing views. Let's hop back over to the assembly. I'm going to use the drag and I'm going to drag it to a distinctly different position than any of the other two snapshots and close out of here. Now when I go over to the drawing, the drawing view is still using those snapshots. The components are not moving. They're remaining in the position defined by the snapshot, which is what I want. So that is how you can use mechanism snapshots for controlling the display of mechanisms in drawing views. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.